Hi guys, today we'll be making self-wicking tubs. You can do it pretty much with any size tub um, that you find in a big box store. I just found this one in my local box store. Uh, it can be any size, but this one is 16 and a half inches tall and about 19 inches on the outside. To begin, what you want to do is you want to find a corrugated pipe. It can be any size you want, um, as long as it's you know four to five inches, maybe six inches. In this case, this one's five inches. I have another smaller one that is roughly four inches, um, and we'll be cutting these up into this size, which will ultimately fit inside your tub. So what you want to do is you want to find the inside dimension of your tub and hopefully at the bottom, mine's about 16 inches on the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll cut three of these uh, just to fit at the bottom. It doesn't need to be as big as this and obviously the smaller ones or the ones on the side will be a little bit smaller than this. So what you want to do is take your tube measure out 16 inches and cut that down to size. What's best for cutting these pipes I found is the utility knife or an exacto knife. You find 16 inches, you just puncture it, watch your fingers, and you just rotate the pipe slowly. And it's as easy as that. Now that you have your three sections of pipe cut, they're actually going to sit in the tub like this. Uh, but before we do this, we actually want to drill a hole, an air hole, uh, before we begin. So I'll show you how to do that. So to locate where your hole is going to go, uh, mine is roughly three to three and a half inches. What you want to do is take the pipe you cut, uh, put it at the bottom like this, and I'll quickly show you how to find your hole. So what you want to do, and now picture this inside the tube, is it roughly sits in like this in the bottom of the tub. And what you want to do is find just roughly one inch, one inch of space, and you want to drill your hole one inch below that to give it some air in between the top of the pipe and the water. So to drill the hole, all I used was a spade bit. I found my bottom, went right through, as easy as that. So the next step is what you want to do is you want to go pick up some pipe and in my case, I picked up three different sizes. Uh, this one is an inch and a quarter. You can see that here. This one is three quarters and it doesn't really matter what size. And then I got some plumbing tubes, which is uh, one and a quarter on the inside and it's black. So you can pick and choose. Um, the black looks nicer with the black tubs, um, the white, doesn't really matter what size it is, but what you want to do is you want to find, you know, they sell them in eight foot, 10 foot lengths or four foot lengths. And what you want to do is cut it down to size with a 45 degree being at the bottom. This pipe is actually going to sit inside your tub and it's just so you can water it after, uh, after you put in all your dirt. So what you want to do is take a straight pipe and what you'll do, this is kind of dirty, but you'll cut it on a 45. And when you do, it sits like this. So your tube actually comes down and your 45 just sits down like this. Uh, and that just allows the water to flow in a little bit better than if it was sitting flat and your water would not have a chance to just flow out freely. The best way I found to cut these plastic pipes was to make your mark, 45, doesn't have to be accurate as long as it's, you know, sitting an inch or two above your tub. Um, 
mark it and actually use a saw to cut it on 25. Just be careful because they are rather sharp. clean it up use some sandpaper if you want um that's pretty much it to go then you can mark your height here and do the same thing on this side it doesn't need to be straight it's just for uh, for water Okay, so now that you have your three sections of corrugated paper cut and your two, what you want to do is lay these out like this uh, so that some of that air gap is aligned with your hole. So what you want to do is start with your centerpiece, uh, make sure it's in the middle, and again, prop it up like this. It's a bit harder because it's up, but make sure you have three and this should be good enough. Now you, you can have some space. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you guys can see that. There's my hole here. Roughly. And it's roughly aligned just so when we put in water, it'll drain a little bit easier. And same thing with your pipe. It can go right in there. Um, and stand up just like this. So it'll help us water. So now that you have positioned your piping, uh, your corrugated pipe and your pipe, close to the hole. What you want to do is you want to find this kind of mesh, garden mesh, uh, weed prevent type of thing. They sell it in rolls at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and what you want to do is you want to lay it over the tub. Now this one I ran out, but this one is the one that's already cut. Uh, what you want to do is put it in the tub, press it down, make sure that every part of it is covered, including the two. And you want to cut around until it fits your tub. Um, and you can press this down on the sides. It doesn't really matter. We'll be putting dirt in anyways. It's just so that the dirt doesn't go down to the pipe. Another alternate to this mesh, if you can't find any at a Lowe's or Home Depot, is you can actually wrap your piping in this filter sock uh, instead of having three uncovered and the mesh like this. You can actually wrap these in. It'll still give you the same effect um, in here. And that way you don't need this, but I found this works pretty well. Um, that also works, but if you can't find your mesh, then you can wrap the corrugated pipe in a filter sock. So if you do have excess of your cloth, you can go ahead, um, just cut it or you can kind of tuck it in, um, and when we load dirt in, it'll kind of disappear. So the big question is, what do you put in the tub? Uh, and that really depends on what you're growing. Uh, we do a bit of a big mix between our pro mix, uh, some compost, uh, coconut core, which you can buy off Amazon, a little bit of iron earth, um, and some sea compost. Uh, just depends on what you're growing but it's gonna be a big mix of that with some dirt. So before we start filling this tub with dirt, um, what you'll have here is your three pipe, something like that. So it's gonna be one, two, three, and you'll have your cloth coming in and down and around the sides and coming up. I don't know if that's showing well on camera. Uh, so let me turn this a bit. And that's good. So what you want to do is maybe split it in two thirds. And what you'll have here is dirt. Uh, and this can be any dirt uh, from, from the area. Um, and then you'll start mixing in the coconut core, the compost, some iron earth in here. So these will be all your compost, your coconut core, and some of your minerals. Uh, and the rest you can cover up with dirt again and we'll end up mixing all this together. But what you want to do is when you do plant, um, 
let's say this is your plant and there are your roots. Uh, what will happen is actually your roots will start coming down uh, and naturally starting to go towards your chemicals, uh, which will hit kind of the nutrients that they need. And at the same time, your water will be coming up and keeping it moist um, so that these don't dry out. So what you want to do is give a little bit of space with the dirt, put in your compost, your chemicals, your, your minerals right in the middle. Um, and kind of mix that all together, but you don't want to put any at the top just because you want your roots to start coming in and you know, you might be You might be planting a little bit deeper and your roots will automatically start wanting to go down Towards that as your water comes up So to begin You want to start off with a bit of dirt you know, Put it in at the bottom and then just control how much you're putting in because it will start to Pull in your mesh. So just put in a couple shovels full and then we can rearrange the mesh to how we see fit. So it's good there. The dirt automatically flowed into the sides of the pipe and that's what we want. And then we can continue to fill up the bucket with the rest of the dirt. So once you get a third, we'll start adding in our pro mix, our compost, and our sea minerals. So now that you have a third, we'll start adding in a little bit of pro mix. Your sea mineral, and you can do this by hand, or around the bag, take your time. putting in your compost and we'll end up mixing a little bit of that together now what you want to do is you want to sprinkle a little bit of iron ore or any type of minerals that you have uh, make sure it's nicely even at the same time you can fix your mesh so here is the iron earth. Um, the instructions are on the back. It does come in with a scoop. What you want to do is take a scoop, sprinkle it on the second third of your layer. And it does give you instructions on how to do that. For the cocoa bale, uh, you can buy it off of Amazon. Um, it sometimes goes on sale uh, at half the price, so you just gotta be careful and find the right time to buy it. But what you would do here is you would dump this into a tub of water. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now, just because we don't need that much right now. But you dump this in a tub of water, uh, naturally dissolve and it would expand to you know, 10 times or five times the size. And then you can mix that in with the dirt it will give you some moisture, uh, hold some of that moisture for the roots. Now that your second third is done, what you can do is just top it off with the natural dirt again. Mix it in. Um, you can top it off all the way up to the top. Uh, depends on what you have, what you need. Uh, you can actually hide this mesh if you really wanted to. Um, but you're pretty much good to go and start planting.